One big issue with early batteries was that the current they produced was all over the place, not very consistent. Oh, I bet that was frustrating. Totally. But in 1836, a guy named John Daniel came up with the Daniel cell. Ooh, another scientist with a cool name. Right. And his cell was a big improvement. It provided a much more stable and reliable source of power. I'm sensing a pattern here. So first you have the big breakthrough, then it's all about refinement and making things actually usable. Exactly. And the voltaic pile. As it's working, hydrogen gas builds up right on the copper. That blocks the flow, weakens the current, like it's choking on its own waste. It's self-sabotaging. No wonder those old batteries were so unreliable. You got it. And this is where Daniel's genius comes in. He figured out how to stop that polarization. Stable, consistent power, way longer. No more batteries dying after five minutes. Must have blown people's minds back then. It was a huge e -E deal. Not just stable. Higher voltage, too. More power for, you know, the things people were inventing then. Which